Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing a comparison and review on the new Juvia's Place. Actually, I'm not sure if this is new, correct me if I'm wrong. But this is the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Natural Radiance Foundation. Now the reason I'm talking about this foundation is because it is very comparable to the makeup by Mario. The claims are comparable, I haven't tried it out just yet. But by what I was reading and all what it claims, everything seems to be legit and basically the same thing as the by Mario So Real Skin Foundation. So the Juvia's Place does retail for $23 and it has 1.0 fluid ounces. The makeup by Mario, which is 1.0 fluid ounces, is $42. And I don't have it with me because I actually did ended up returning that foundation because no matter how I ended up trying out that foundation or trying to apply it differently, do different steps, it just didn't work for my skin type. Once I saw that this had like the same claims as Makeup by Mario, I had to try it out. So it claims to be... Natural Radiance Foundation, Natural Radiant Finish, Medium Coverage, Long Wear, which the Makeup by Mario also claims to have a natural finish, medium coverage, and long wear. And the key ingredients in this formula is enriched with our cereolia, cherries rich in vitamin A and C to protect the, and hydrate the skin. So I'm super excited. This is literally a like fraction of the price of Makeup by Mario. I am super freaking excited. Now... I did have to go and return the shade that I got previously because once I got in my car, it oxidized on my skin horribly. So I had to go back and return it and get a different shade. So this is the actual bottle itself. Really nice packaging. Pump. You can see the color through this. It does say to shake well with cap facing downward. Let's do that. And I do have my skin primed and prepped already. Now that I shook this up, I did get the shade, I believe it is Alexandria, which is 650. Let's pump this out on the back of my hand. So here is the shade. Now it does look like to be a really good match and it is kind of thick if you guys can't tell. It's not budging. I'm going to do two pumps of that. And I am going to try this foundation with a brush on one side and a sponge on the other side. Alright, so let me zoom me in so you guys can get a better look of this foundation. Alright, so now that you guys are zoomed in, let's do the brush side. does have a little bit of a scent to it and a little bit goes a long way y'all I think I might have pumped a little bit too much so the reason why I didn't like the makeup by Mario one is because it emphasized my texture so much as much as that I love a good radiant foundation for my oily skin because if you have oily skin and you want a radiant foundation and you always met it out with some powders but with that one it was just not giving it to me and my skin it looked super textured and I do have textured skin as well and it just didn't look good on me for some reason and I tried so many different ways to apply it and yet it didn't look good and I do have a lot of texture on my forehead so we'll see how that ends up looking so this color might be a little light but I am basically at my fairest right now it doesn't look bad actually it looks super freaking nice here is the brush side definitely has better coverage than the makeup on mario here's this side this is the side with no foundation all right so i'm going to use my sponge by ariel and i'm going to apply that on this side Now the sponge is taking up most of the coverage as per usual. Usually happens when you use a sponge. But I do have a little bit more luminosity on this side than I do on this side with the brush. To make everything even, I'm just going to apply, maybe get this much out and just use my brush on this side to build up coverage. 
I am really curious to see how this foundation will perform throughout the whole day. Alright, so this is the foundation on. It does look pretty radiant. My forehead it doesn't look crazy. You can kind of still see my texture, but it's not really emphasizing it as much as the Makeup of Mario. I do notice that this one doesn't have like that glittery particles in it. So that's probably one of the main reasons why it's not emphasizing my texture. You can tell I do have a little bit of like breakouts right here. But it honestly looks super nice. I'm starting to see that the shade is oxidizing just a little bit. But honestly it looks super beautiful. Alright, I'm excited. Okay, so I'm going to apply the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Alright, so I have everything on my face except for blush. And that's because I wanted to try out the Juvia's Place Blush Rouge Volume 4. Now this blush has been all over TikTok as well and I wanted to try it out. As you guys know, I've been obsessed with pink blushes and this one. This one's right up my alley. So I know I have a red lipstick on and I am trying out the new One Size Beauty Cushion. Oh wait, Velvet Flex Cream and Cushion Gloss. I don't know the exact name of this, but once I find that out, I'll put it on the screen for you. But it's the red shade and it's super, super gorgeous. And I know this probably won't look good with the red lipstick I have on, but you know, why not just play with it. So here are the two shades. Super freaking gorgeous. As you guys know, I am obsessed with my Dior Backstage Blush and the Tarte Cloud Crush Brush. Brush. Blush. So I'm going to use this shade right here. Try to get some pigment on here. So I got a good amount of pigment. Where's this on my cheeks? This is beautiful. This is gorgeous. And it's not like super, super pigmented to the point where like you can't go overboard with it, which is great if you are a beginner. I also like to load up um, blush just because that's it. that is the first thing that goes off your face at the end of the day. That is to die for. I love anything pink, honestly. I I already knew I was going to love this blush. Now that I have that on, let's go ahead and zoom into my face. Alright, so now that you guys are zoomed in, let's go ahead and take a closer look at my skin. And I honestly love the way it looks. My texture is emphasized. I do have a little bit of dryness on my nose, but that's kind of normal at this point. But I am experiencing a lot of texture and breakouts, but honestly, it's not emphasizing any of that. If I would have had the Makeup Mario, it would have been in your face texture all throughout. This honestly looks freaking gorgeous. I love this foundation already. Alright, I'm going to zoom you guys out. I literally can't stop looking at myself in the mirror right now. It's so beautiful. I feel like my skin, I, honestly, I think this is the best my skin has looked in a minute. With all these new foundations that are coming out, I feel like this one definitely takes a cake because, first of all, it's a fraction of the price of the Makeup of Mario and performs way better than that one. I'm just in love with it. I love the way it feels on my skin. It doesn't feel heavy. It feels lightweight. It has the coverage that I need. It does have that radiance that it claims to have and does look natural on the skin, not emphasizing my texture. I'm so happy about this foundation. I feel like if you guys didn't have a good experience with the Makeup on Mario foundation, you definitely have to check this one out and let me know what you think. I feel like this is absolutely beautiful. I am in love with it. I feel like this is the first time I've been super, super in love with the foundation, especially since I've been trying out so many different ones these past couple of weeks. And this one definitely has to be my favorite out of all the ones I've tried out. And it's from the drugstore. And plus, 
this blush, I mean, I think it was going to be a given that I was going to love it so much. I love this blush. I feel like it's beautiful. I do have more Judy's Place blushes as well. And I just know her formula is just to die for. So yeah. I will keep you guys updated on how this foundation wore throughout the day in the description box below. Also, I did want to do like a Q&A because I feel like I haven't done one in a minute. We have new friends on my channel that I want you guys to get to know me a little bit better. If you guys want me to do a video like that, let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you do have questions for me, I know not everyone has Instagram, so if you wanted to ask me a question, just ask me in the comment section below and I'll make that into a video. Also, I did buy a bunch of new Health Labs blushes that I wanted to try out with you guys. I wanted to do a full face of House Labs with you guys, so if that's also another thing you want me to do, let me know in the comment section below. I do have a lot of content that I want to put up on my channel. With that being said, if you guys aren't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. I'd highly appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!